What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gundam here and today I'm bringing you guys the continuation of the series asking what if the family emblems of the 7 stars indicate the Gundams each one of them possess with reference to the lesser key of Solomon. In this video, we will be diving into the potential options for the Elyon family. Now before I begin, I will have to make the usual disclaimer that this is just a theory made to stir up discussion and have a bit of fun, so there is no in-lore proof regarding what I'm going to be talking about. But with that simple thing out of the way, let's get into the video, and oh boy, this is going to be a wild ride. There are two avenues to guessing what the potential Gundam for the Elyon family is, based on both my first impression of the depicted beast as well as a more educated description. At first glance, the beast looks like a dragon that is placed in some sort of royal chamber based on the glamorous adornments surrounding the emblem, while only the beast, the trim, and the windows are painted the family color red. While a more educated description will be the depiction of Yomungandr, the Midgard Serpent. Hence, the two avenues to guess will be dragons and serpents. Though even with that information, it's hard to take a guess because of how serpents are often accessories to the demons, and the potential guesses will clash with those that could be taken for the fox, which I will cover in another video. But let's take it one step at a time. Starting easy with the dragons, we have Duke Bune, who takes the form of a dragon with the heads of a dog, a griffin, and a man, and the mounts of Duke Astaroth, King Asmodee, and President Valak. Now, Astaroth and Asmodee can be ruled out if you are kept up to date with the Iron Blooded Orphans lore, which leaves us with Duke Bune and President Valak. While the adornments around the emblem may suggest the demon will be of a higher position, I'm actually tempted to rule out President Valak in this instance based on their descriptions. While Valak simply gives answers about hidden treasures, reveals the locations of serpents, and delivers them to the conjurer without harming them, Bune can relocate the dead and command those under his power to gather around said tombs, make men eloquent and wise, and give true answers unto demands, which sounds like the traits of Rustal Elion himself, except for the power to relocate the dead. From that alone, the ASWG-26 Gundam Bune is a possible guess for the Elion family Gundam. But here is where it gets messy. Going down the serpent or snake path, we have a lot of demons to account for as a good number of them have snakes as accessories. For that reason, I will be exempting those with animalistic physical features but also hold snakes, like King Vine and Marquis Orias, because those snakes are not the strongest defining features of the demon. With that, we can narrow down our options to Marquis Amon, a wolf with a serpent's tail, Duke Eligos, some of you may know him as Abigor, a knight that carries a lance, an ensign, and a serpent. President Botus, who appears as an ugly viper unless commanded to take on a human form wielding a sword. Duke Bothin, a man with a serpent's tail. Duke Aim, a three-headed man with those of a serpent, a man, and a calf while riding atop a viper. King Balam, a three-headed being with those of a bull, a man, and a ram with a serpent's tail and Earl Andromalius, who is a man that carries a serpent. Off the bat, we can rule out Earl Andromalius because according to the Gundam Dantalian's official blurb, Dantalian is the last Gundam frame to be completed before the war ended. So the Gundam Andromalius being number 72 could never have made its mark, and its full existence is in a bit of a limbo. On another note, I don't think a tail can fully represent a demon so for those who only bear serpent's tails will have to go, leaving us with Duke Eligos, President Botus, and Duke Aim. All three of them are good guesses, but I would turn to the descriptions of the demons at this point, and I am strongly inclined to say that Duke Aim is the one that stands out on top, mostly because he carries a piece of burning wood and sets places like cities and castles on fire while riding on his viper on top of his ability to make the summoner witty in all manners and give true answers onto private matters. Compared to Duke Eligos, who just discovers hidden treasures, knows other things in the future including wars and the meeting of soldiers, and causes the love of lords and people of great power, and President Botus, who merely tells of things past, present, and future and reconciles friends and foes, the description of Duke Aim is easily the one that fits Rustal Elian the most. As a result, we now have the ASWG-26 Gundam Bune and the ASWG-23 Gundam Aim to guess from. 
Between the demon descriptions to the beasts on the family emblems, I'd say they are both equally strong guesses. But the one that really wins out to me is the ASWG23 Gundam Aim. Not primarily because the beast on the Elyon family emblem did put in Yomringand, but because of Duke Aim's act of setting everywhere on fire, which could be a twisted reflection on how Elyon sets Tekadan's battlefields on fire with the Dying Slave weapon. While the serpent in the emblem can both be represented by Aim's serpent head and the viper that he rides on. I mean, even the Infernal Dictionary depiction looks like Rustle. As for the Gundam specs, if you know of the Nextreme Gundam Vicious, I would imagine something similar for the Elyons. A winged Gundam frame painted in a similar color scheme that can transform into a beast mode for throwing napalms or flames, while being equipped with a giant melee weapon and dying slaves of some form. Perhaps the mobile armors acquire nanolaminate armor shortly before its development, and the Gundam aim is the first successful example of the dying slave railgun. Who knows? And that wraps it up for this video, but then again, this is just my interpretation, so if you have any other ideas, do tell me in the comments below. And keep in mind, this is just a theory, so don't take it too seriously. It's just for fun and discussion. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more contents from me. Ring the bell for alerts if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next video.